I'm going to give you one passage to represent some thought in the intertestamental period, uh, in the days of the flourishing of the Dead Sea community that gave us the Dead Sea Scrolls. And so that's the reason for the weird name up here. If you want to, uh, you could call this uh, uh, 4Q um, uh, Midrash on the Last Days. I don't think that that's going to help you much either, but that's another variant name for this 4Q174, uh, 4Q Midrash on the last days. It says here that God has commanded that a human temple, uh, uh, and the Hebrew is Mikdash Adam, a Mikdash, a sanctuary, a tabernacle, back back all the way to Exodus 25, a mikdash, a tabernacle built of human beings, a mikdash adam, a sanctuary of man or mankind, humankind, a human built temple, no longer built with stones, now built with people. You say, well, that's an idea that shows up in the New Testament. Yeah, but it's not new in the New Testament. That bridge has already been spanned in the intertestamental period in the second century BC. So when you hear people like, whether it's John in the 90s or it's Paul maybe in the 50s, uh, AD 50s, writing to the Corinthian church, um, and he's talking about our, us being the temple of God, human beings being God's dwelling place. Well, that's a 300-year-old idea by the time that Paul and John get around to it. This, was, this idea was continuing to develop and percolate between Haggai and Matthew, between the end of the Old Testament and the beginning of the New Testament. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our videos. If you're benefiting from the content that you're receiving from them, please make sure that you're following us on Facebook and that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you never miss a thing. While you're at it, share our content with your friends and family. Encourage them to follow us as well. Thanks for helping us to reach as many as we can with a powerful message of God's Word in its original context.